Hello, everybody. Let me get my thing here squared away. Have a camera. Uh, give a second here for some other folks to jump in. If there's going to be anybody who wants to jump in and join us, this won't be a very long. Uh, hangout session, so to speak, at least in my uh, choosing to go live here. Uh, just because I don't really have the time to uh, make a video and then put it in the computer and go through the whole editing process. So this way we can just chat for a minute, say hello to everybody, and uh, and then YouTube will go ahead and do the make the video process it. So. Oh man, looks like there's some folks who are jumping on. So let me have a sip of my coffee. Have a get some coffee if you ain't got any coffee. Coffee's good. Uh, holy crap, that's some good coffee. Okay, well. Hey guys, Jano Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in. And my part of the world, we are doing well. Um, if I look tired, it's on account of because I am. Uh, business, uh, our fishing business is yeah, well, it's doing really well. We're 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 really happy and feel blessed that the business is doing as well as it is. Uh, the fishing has just been terrible this year. The weather uh, and the heat and the conditions. But um, you know, I'm I'm grinding out as much as I can. We spend a lot of uh, a lot of time on the water and on the road uh, to travel to catch the bait fish for the business. Um, and that's pretty much what I've been doing, driving and fishing, driving and fishing. And then I come home for about 17 minutes and we do some laundry and then I drive and go fishing again. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, it's a, it's a blessing that the business is doing really well and I'm, I'm still really behind. Um, I, well, like I, I have this little joke that I say, I'm, I am so far behind with my business and with orders that when I stopped at the gas station earlier and was putting gas in the truck, as I was walking into the gas station, um, I bumped into the back of somebody and it was me. <laughs> so, but yes, we are still alive. Um, I guess right after I made my last video, my last live stream, when we said hello, uh, at that point uh, and shortly thereafter, I was dealing with just some minor little health issues nothing big don't freak out um but i'm starting to feel better um we're getting our energy back um and like i say i just i can't i'm not home a lot uh anymore so i uh, just want to thanks um when you know when you start a business um sometimes things have to take a back seat and uh, youtube has had to take a back seat to work unfortunately um i do miss the interaction with you guys uh, but also, I do hope that everybody understands that I have I've started a business because, you know, my kids are older. I've got, uh, you know, two that are in college, and college is really expensive, and I'm trying to help them as much as I can uh, as far as, you know, vehicles and gas and insurance and all that stuff. Back 10 years ago, when everybody was here and everybody was little, you know, we, didn't, we could get by with not a whole lot of income because we could raise our own food. And we can, you know, and we didn't have to have a whole lot of income because we didn't travel a lot. But three or four trips in town a day for the kids when they're going back and forth to class or to work, uh, plus insurance and extra vehicles and stuff like that. There comes a point to where I'm like, I have to go, you know, try to figure out a way to make some uh, some income and get some uh, decent money coming in, so that I can do what I feel I need to be doing for my kids as a father right now. So, uh, Tobias, Miss Mary is taking care of Lupita. While I'm traveling, uh, our roommate, Miss Mary, she's still with us. She's, she's here. Uh, she helps take care of the house and the home place and all that stuff while I'm gone. That's one of the reasons why we downsize so much. That way, there's not so much for her to do. When I was home all the time and I was working the home place, uh, we had all the critters and the big gardens and stuff like that. 
Uh, there wasn't so much, you know, for just one person, you know, when there's somebody else here. But uh, whenever, you know, I'm not here and I'm traveling then, uh, and I'm fishing or I'm on the river all day long or something like that, if we still had, you know, our 40 chickens and pork chop and the goats and all the rabbits and everything else that we had going on, that's a lot for one person to try to do. So we downsized just to make sure that uh, there wasn't going to be any kind of issue. So it's just one of the things. That's her, that's her way of helping uh helping out is to stay here and take care of mama and the home place while i am trying to bring bring uh, some money into the door which is you know it's been doing pretty well so hopefully the lord will continue to bless our business and we'll keep uh we'll keep it rolling i will be you know fishing all winter long i am making this, uh, a couple of videos on the fishing channel here coming soon i don't make a lot of the videos about work fishing because one it's work and two um i don't want to be you know making videos about catching the same fish all the time uh, I figure skipjack videos all the time would get rather boring. Um, so, and plus, it's been about 113 degrees outside, and it's just been hot. And I have not really felt like turning the cameras on. I just want to work and get the fish in the boat and come back home. So, that's uh, that's one of the things, man. One of the things. But I have got a tournament coming up here in a couple of weeks uh, that I'm going to be fishing. I'm going to make a um, a video about. The, probably a video about the pre-fishing and fishing the tournament on the, the tournament day if everything goes well I don't want to make the fishing video where we don't catch fish because that would not be good so uh, yeah so I just wanted to kind of pop on and say hello to everybody and let everybody know that we are still alive uh, we are still here uh, we will be making some videos uh, periodically as, as soon as things kind of slow down uh, through the fall of course we've got hunting season coming up and, and trapping season coming up um, I, I'm not sure what the trapping season is going to bring this year. Uh, again, I'm not, I haven't checked on the fur prices yet uh, to see what they're going to be, if it's going to be even worth it uh, to run a trap line this year. Remember last year, I didn't set not one single trap uh, because the fur prices were so bad, it would have not been, there just wasn't any reason to. Uh, but I do know that we're having, way down at the very end of the creek, in one of the cornfields we're having some issues with some beavers that are getting out of control uh so those uh are going to have to be dealt with i'm trying to wait till later in the season to deal with them so that i can get a better fur because we don't i really don't like killing stuff just to kill it uh i want to i want to be able to utilize the animal once we harvest it so and then of course we'll have deer season and uh regardless of school and college and all that kind of stuff uh we uh um you know, my son will be in, in the hayfield with me. We'll be trying to get that meat up. And I'm not even sure how many deer we're going to need this year. Uh, normally, we try to shoot 15 or 16 for our yearly meat supply. But with the kids not being here as much and me not being here as much, we're thinking that, uh, you know, anywhere maybe eight or nine will do us for the coming year. So, and uh, we'll see uh, We'll see how it goes. So, that's another thing. Now that, now that the kids are growing... Uh, there's a lot, you know, we don't have to cook. We used to cook Great Lake meals and stuff, and now we're trying to relearn how to cook just for, you know, sometimes it's just Mary and Lupita here. So instead of making five gallons of chili, she only needs to make a, a quart, you know, so. But uh, we've got some stuff that we haven't cooked, <coughs> excuse me, uh, that we haven't cooked on the channel before that we're going to uh, make some upcoming videos about this fall. God willing. And, uh, if there's anything else that you guys would like to see, uh, leave, let me know. Oh, that got blurry. Let me know uh, if there's any particular videos you'd like to see me make, and uh, we will try to make them. And uh, you know, we'll we'll do the best we can. We can't. I can't promise anything at this point. I will promise that we're not going to go away. The channel's going to stay up, um, and we'll uh, you know we'll 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 do it as we are able to do it. So. Oh, mercy, mercy. That's a good call. Uh, Clint, am I doing any guide fishing yet? No, I am not doing uh, guide fishing. Um, I'm just strictly right now have been bait fishing, and I haven't even fished any of the tournaments. I, I passed on several tournaments this summer because I was uh, working on the bait business and uh, uh, trying to keep the, you know, the, the, the bait companies uh, that I work with stocked in bait. But I will hopefully we can get a you know things can smooth out a little bit in the spring. 
you know, anybody who started their own business knows that the first year is kind of crazy. You don't really have a plan because you don't really know how things go as far as business-wise. Now that we've got a better idea, we can hopefully get a better handle on next year and be a little more prepared for it, and then I can fish some more tournaments uh, and still keep the bait business, you know, uh, uh, rolling like it should be. And it's, it's growing pretty good. We've, we've, we've got some wholesalers that are... Uh, uh, you know, it's just, it's growing really well. There's a lot of people who uh, like to have good catfish bait. You know, that's one of the things we, we pride ourselves on having premium, premium bait. I try to take really good care of the bait fish that we catch. From the time we get them in the boat, you know, they're, they're packed in ice and uh, saltwater slurry, uh, especially when it's super hot outside because we like to keep them as fresh as possible. Uh, and then, you know, we, we vacuum seal them in the freezer and stuff like that. So. Alrighty, it's a it's someone that just flew by too fast. I couldn't even see it. Is there any other questions up there, Mary? Uh, Dirty wants to know uh, best recipe for uh, venison. Uh, best recipe for venison? Uh, our Italian pizza. You know, I, good. I, we like it in every every way, but yeah, we really enjoy the. Uh, we have a video on the channel called Italian Beef, and a lot of times we'll substitute the big beef roast well most of the time you know because beef is expensive uh most of the time we will uh, substitute the beef roast for um uh, like a neck the deer neck roast or a couple of the uh what they call the knuckles and stuff like that the tough meats we crock pot them so um american liberty fighters bill no i don't think i will be doing anything regularly uh for a a minute still. I mean, it's still gonna be a little while before I can kind of get back onto any kind of regular schedule. Uh, it's just, you know, I'm always traveling, always fishing, and I don't really want to do live streams while I'm driving, uh, or sometimes I don't have signal when I'm fishing, so. Uh, William Mills, where in Ohio do I fish? I fish all over. Uh, right now, I'm spending most of my time in northern Alabama fishing, um, Chasing skipjack on the Tennessee River and the uh, and then sometime on the Cumberland River in Western Kentucky. Uh, it just all depends on where we've got weather and current and river conditions that I need to, to be able to catch the fish. So Alabama is usually where I'm at, um, and uh, I just need to uh, uh, to be where the fish are. So that's that's where I've been going. And so a lot of times I try. Those are work trips, so they're all about making a profit. So a lot of times, I don't even get like motel rooms. I just sleep in my truck for two or three days, and uh, so there's not a lot of sleep going on. Um, so we, uh, you know, we, we fish all day and, and most of the night, um, and then you know fish, sleep for a couple hours in the truck, and get up and fish all day, and then we drive all night. And, and it can get a little hairy whenever I'm you know really uh, sleep deprived, but. Uh, it's okay. You know, I, I always make sure that I'm safe. I have all these rules that I fish by, uh, and rule number one is don't die. <laughs> if, I, if you didn't die, it was a pretty good trip. And then rule number two is if you're going to do something really stupid, please refer back to rule number one so I can uh, make sure that I don't you know, crash or whatever. It's to the point to where my boat, I leave my boat a lot in Alabama uh, at Frankie's Marine Service. Uh, one, because Frankie's Marine Service is awesome about caring for the boats um, and and boat mechanic and stuff in my boat it being an older boat sometimes needs some work uh, and two that way I don't have to haul it all the time back and forth from Ohio and that really saves me a lot of wear and tear on the boat trailer uh, on the truck and on the uh, uh, and the, the mileage and my fuel costs and everything so hi Beth hi Beth I see you I see Beth DeRoos pop up man she's been Hi, Betty, Lady B, Beth. Uh, I seen it pop up. I didn't have a chance. It went away before I had a chance to see what she had to say. Yeah, I miss all you guys. I mean, a lot of you guys have been with me, you know, for well, going on ten years now, and uh, it feels kind of odd that we don't have any of that kind of interaction again. But like I say, life prevents, uh, life presents opportunities and different circumstances, and we have to. Uh, we have to just do the best we can when we can do it. I just saw it pop up again. What did Beth say? Beth says, odd question. How clean are the rivers you fish in? We live in, North, we live in California, High Sierra, where the rivers are pristine. 
Yeah, our uh, uh, our rivers, they're a lot cleaner than what they used to be. I'll put it that way. There's still some issues in some areas uh, on the Ohio River and the Tennessee Rivers. You know, we have a lot of industry on our rivers. The Ohio River starts up by Pittsburgh, and it's just full of cities all the way down. The same thing with the Mississippi. So sometimes there are some issues with the cleanliness of the water, Beth. Nowhere near as clean as what your rivers uh, up there in your country is. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Sometimes, but I'm, I'm not, I, it's not good enough where I'm, um, you know, worried about eating the fish. Uh, a lot of times, whenever I'm fishing, I will uh, um, catch like white bass and striped bass and catfish and stuff like that. Uh, incidentally, they're, they're, it's, uh, it's like a bycatch. They'll hit the same kind of lures as the bait fish that I, that I use. So, they're an incidental catch, and I'll still put them on ice and bring them home and eat them. So, just because I like fish. So, hey, Ronnie. Hi, Giovanna, Modern Pioneers. I saw your husband on here. Things are going by so fast. I don't know why my phone, it just like pops up and then they disappear. I don't even have time to read all that well. And so, if I've missed somebody, I, uh, I apologize. Just wanted to say hello. not real good George not from what I hear I know a lot of people who who fish down there a lot more regularly than I do and I have not heard anything good I haven't heard anything about the highways running real good there's just not a lot of current we haven't had in my right here in southern Ohio where I'm at we haven't had rain in a long time and uh, the river is not moving at all it's like Lake Ohio there's very little current so uh, it's not been real good fishing. When they have the uh, a couple of the turbines on generating power, there will be some shad running the wall, and you can catch the occasional, you know, white bass. So you can still catch some smaller blue cats and channel cats off of the rocks below the dam, um, but there's not been really any good fishing uh, going on from you know from what I from what I can gather from the guys who are down there. We're really waiting on the winter time, you know, usually around Thanksgiving, first week of December, depending on the water temperature and the weather that, uh, you know, uh, we'll uh, start catching sauger and walleye, but again, it depends on the weather. Hopefully we'll have some, some rain and some water moving with a little bit of current. When you have current, you know, have, you'll see in the rivers, you'll have these little current seams, and the current seams will concentrate up the, the little minnows and the smaller fish that the, the predator fish feed on. So if there's no current, then it's just the fish is scattered. The little bait fish will scatter all out through the river, and then the predator fish, the fish that we're looking for, will scatter as well. So you got to really chase them down, and I uh, just kind of got to get lucky and just got to spend as much time on the water as you can to try to get whatever it is you need to get. So, uh, John Justice, uh, we haven't had very any that I know of anyway. The blue tongue, the deer disease blue tongue. I know they've had some uh, across the river. In parts of Kentucky, um, but I haven't heard of anything uh, here in our area yet, uh, as far as the blue tongue goes. So, but I haven't really got into hunting mode yet because it's still 95 degrees out today. We're supposed to have a cold front coming through, thank the Lord. But uh, you know, right now for me, with because I'm a, you know my trophy are steaks in the grill. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I'm not a horn hunter. So, you know, right now, if I was to be hunting, I'd have to put my little bait pile inside of a walk-in freezer and shoot them wherever they get in there because you got to really be on it. It's so hot. Hanover fish wants to know how the rabbits are. How the rabbits are? Yeah. Oh, the rabbits are good, man. We don't, we don't, we've only got a couple of the meat rabbits left. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, uh, the show rabbits still. I believe Miss Mary is now number six or eight as far as rabbit breeders in the country. Who show rabbits so congrats to miss mary um yeah that's awesome she's uh she's getting her uh she's getting her line of rabbits and uh and she's doing really well at some of the shows she's got several blue ribbons and uh and uh, so it's it's really you know doing a good it's doing good for her that's what she loves to do that's her hobby and uh it's good that everybody has something they really enjoy doing and and gives you something you know that uh a sense of accomplishment if you will Hanover fist. What do I think of guinea fowl? Ooh, I don't like them personally. You know, 
several years back, Ma Keeney, um, one of the uh, one of our elders who lived just up above us on the ridge there on the ridge of hills, she had uh, a bunch of guinea fowl, and it was they were awful. They're loud. They're noisy. They're not good to eat. She tried to cook them up several ways, and I tried it a couple times, and they just were. I didn't like them. They didn't like them all. They're way too gamey for me. Uh, they do work as, really well as like an alarm system. You know, they'll let you know anytime something is around, they will let you know. Um, but for me personally, as a critter on the homestead, that's just not my thing. A lot of folks will have them because, you know, they'll, they'll like I said, they're like an alarm system, but it's just, uh, you know, one of them things, man, to each his own. D minor, uh, well, if it gets cold soon enough, yeah, we're ready for deer season to kick in. Freezer's getting kind of low. And uh, and uh, so we'll be looking to put some meat in the freezer, but man, hopefully we have some decent weather deer season. We're not, we don't, I don't bow hunt. I know bow season's either in or coming in real soon. Um, I mainly use gun season uh, to fill up our freezers. So, and it'll be, uh, it'll be good. It's just one of them things that, you know, it's just another, it's uh, another one of our yearly chores. You know, you have chicken butcher day, you have rabbit butcher days, you have, uh, you know, deer butcher days. We have a week or so of, of gun season uh, that we hunt and skin and butcher our red meat for next year. So we didn't do any garden videos because we didn't do a garden. We, we couldn't get our garden in this spring. It rained so much back in the spring, we couldn't even get our dirt killed. It was mud. And then uh, a lot of folks are hearing this in my area who did get a garden in. It just burned up here the last month and a half anyway because we haven't had any rain. I mean, in like a month, literally a month, we haven't had any rain. And it's been 100 degrees and hot, and it's just ugh, been bad hot, man. Terrible hot. But, and I know, that I guess we're getting some snow up in Montana, up in that part of the country. They've had some cold weather and some snow already. So it's been a, been a wild ride of a weather year, that's for sure. All righty, well, what are we at, like 25 minutes? Um, so I am going to, plus my coffee cup's getting about empty. Wow, 50 days, huh, Master Sergeant? That's crazy. Okay, guys, like I said, I just wanted to uh, say hello uh, to everybody and uh, just kind of give everybody an update. We are doing fine. Um, we're just busy, busy, busy. So I've gotten a lot of messages asking uh, if we're having, uh, you know, if I'm having health issues, which I was, but that's fine. We're, we're done with that. Um, um, and it just, uh, uh, you know, just kind of an update just to say hello. So uh, you guys who have hung with us uh, all these years, you guys who uh, have had my back all these years, uh, please stay with us. Uh, we will be around. We will be making more videos at some point. Um, so just kind of keep an eye out. And every once in a while, I'll get my phone and we'll jump on and live and just say hello for a minute. And uh, enjoy life. We are enjoying life. We are enjoying all that the Lord has given us and blessed us with. So I pray that all of you enjoy life and the Lord continues to bless all of us. And uh, we will see you guys sometime soon in the near future. So until next time, you guys, thank you very much for watching. You guys know the routine. God bless. In the end.